Welcome back. As Pride Month wraps up, several events were put on in the city of Guelph. On a beautiful Saturday afternoon, the Pride community came together at Exhibition Park to celebrate. Our Ryan Manahan was on scene to show his support in the Royal City. It's June and here in the city of Guelph we're celebrating with Pride in the park. This is our biggest event and it's very public, it's very open, it's very welcoming. Uh, folks don't have to be part of the community already, they can be friends, they can be allies, they can be curious. Um, it's a great place for folks to just exist in a space that's very welcoming and full of people who are ready to accept them and might identify with some of the things that they've grown up with um, and answer questions and just find community. With the sun shining down at Exhibition Park, it's important to shine a light on the importance of pride in the Royal City. I think it's very important for pride, the way that we operate to be in the city of Guelph. A lot of different prides run differently. Um, there's not a specific way that any particular pride organization has to run. So the way that we do it in Guelph is leans more towards activism, leads more towards shining a light on wherever a light needs to be shown at the particular time. So sometimes that means we have kind of sadder events, darker events, sometimes it's a more celebration. Um, so we spend a lot of time looking at what needs to be done. Um, and in Guelph, uh, a lot of times things folks think of us as just kind of like bright and shining and accepting and wonderful and pride takes the time to look at what work needs to be done even in a city like Guelph that seems to be more accepting. And it's bright events like this that community finds allies, resources and even spirituality. We are an organization that has both theists and non-theists. There's often a longing to reconnect with the spiritual side and in a regular uh, congregation maybe there might not be all the opportunities that they might otherwise have. There's some congregations that are still not very accepting of uh, LGBTQIA plus people. Um, so it's important for them to have a place to go as well. I think that many faith groups um, may not be accepting to some people, but at our church we accept anyone and we just want to show that you can still have faith but also still be yourself and show your true colors. Oakburg is all about social and environmental justice and pride has always been a rally of march and a gathering of marginalized people who want to be able to be free and express themselves right so we support everything social and environmental justice related so we're it's natural that we're here. Kids are with us for such a huge proportion of their day and it's our job to show that all human rights are valid and that all groups are welcome in school so it's really important that they know that they can talk to us about anything and that human rights law and our school board and our union are all supporting them. Yeah they kids have a lot of questions and it's important for them to have a, a nice friendly and positive place to explore and ask their questions and get some answers or if we don't know an answer we'll figure it out and show us show them how. I think it's important we're visible so that they know what public health does but also where to come for testing, STI testing, contraception, decision making, immunizations, super important just to know where to go and if it's not us we can connect to other community partners. We also are interested in collecting information from the public. So we're, uh, we have flyers up, hoping people will participate and complete our cannabis survey. We want to hear what people think. Pride has come a long way, but it also has a long way to go in Guelph, Canada, and across the globe. There's so many people out there who don't have an opportunity to express themselves and be who they want to be. So it's up to us to be able to support and um, come together as a community to make sure that people know that it's okay to be who you are. It's definitely become more of a divisive issue and there's a lot of, uh, lot of haters out there. So it's really important that uh, we come through and really show uh, support uh, to LGBTQIA communities and uh, just have a place where everybody uh, can be themselves. I think it's super important again to note that we all come from different cultures, different um, different sexual identities, backgrounds, and to know that we are all people deserving of the same human rights. Yeah, and the same. I don't know what I can add to that. Deb covered it very well, but I think it's important to show that uh, as an agency, um, Wellington Government Gulf Public Health is very interested in supporting all people regardless of gender orientation or anything else, that we're there, we offer the same services, and I think that's important to show support for this community.
I think we don't want to become uh, laissez-faire and let things slide that we fought really hard for. We want our kids and our students and our families to see that we support them all the time. Yeah. Even though year after year things are better, like since the first Pride, things have improved massively, but things still can improve and need to improve. Yeah. Until the point where we stop getting comments um, out loud on Facebook, any of those social media places that say something like, why is this important? Uh, I don't want to hear about those things. I don't want things pushed in my face. That means there still needs to be mes messaging uh, that tells people that this is not just okay. It's a normal part of society. It's a beautiful part of society um, that deserves to be celebrated and welcomed everywhere. For your region this week, I'm Ryan Manahan in Guelph. Thank you.